so the RAV4 is pretty special to me and my family. Uh, it goes back five years ago to uh, 2015. And we were expecting baby number four. So at that time, we were a family of five with baby number four on the way. And we could all fit in a RAV4 just about with the car seats and all. It was a pretty tight squeeze, but we did. That was our first ever car review back in 2015. And I remember taking that RAV4, which was amazing, and we loved it taking it up to Atlanta for a visit to the, the baby doctor and that was nice a nice ride and now here it is five years later and we are still enjoying the RAV4 and now we have too many kids for us all to fit in here so we really are looking forward to the Land Cruiser the Toyota Land Cruiser which we'll be reviewing in a couple of weeks and that's an eight seater so that's those are the fun bits when we can all get into the vehicle together together however the RAV4 isn't meant to be that vehicle and it's an amazing vehicle for what it is we've reviewed a few of them over the years and they just get better and better uh, I love this hybrid I love the idea of the hybrids uh, I love this vehicle itself uh, the color like this copy itself I love this blue color the black wheels everything about it it's just a great car it's one of my favorites highly recommend the RAV4. Now, having said that, that 2015 RAV4 would be a really good find on the used car market. Now, if you get them within a, like two or three years, you'd have to check with Toyota, but you can get the certified pre-owned vehicles. That's probably the best deal going, and I talk about that a lot. If you read any of my reviews on georgiadad.com, you know I talk a lot about buying things used, but making sure you're not getting ripped off so I, I personally like the certified pre-owned vehicles uh, that program because you're you're getting a warranty basically on a used vehicle so you're still getting all the benefits of a, of a letting somebody else take the depreciation that initial depreciation uh, for a car driving off the car lot and then you are uh, benefiting still from a, a warranty so uh, it's just a good deal and uh, the vehicles, Toyotas, when they're three or four years old, they're really just getting started. So you're not uh, you're not missing anything. Uh, now, some people are just going to want that brand new vehicle, and that's fine. If that's you, this could be that kind of a vehicle. It can do a lot of things, a lot of storage, very comfortable over the road, very capable. You're sitting up a little bit more than a car. And uh, the XSC trim level in particular, it's obviously the one of the nicest ones. You're going to get a lot of good features. You're going to think you're in a luxury vehicle. Um, there, the Lexus line, they do offer a little bit posture SUVs, um, and we've, we've reviewed them, but for the average person, the Toyota is just, that's about as good as you're going to want to need, or you're going to need, or you're going to want, or whatever. So, highly recommend it, give it a try, go drive it somewhere, um, you know, test drive it at your dealership, and uh, look up the numbers, because, uh, Especially these hybrids, you're getting really good gas mileage. Could save you a little bit of money on the long haul. Uh, obviously, you don't. I, I just don't think you buy cars to flip them. Um, you know, you you buy cars to last you a very long time, like a good pair of shoes or good quality tools. You look at it that way. You buy. You go, maybe you do spend a few extra dollars on it, but keep it for a long time—10, 15 years, uh, so on. Two of our vehicles. My wife and I, one, one is 13 years old and one is 19 years old. And the 19-year-old vehicle actually drives better than the 13-year-old vehicle. So there's a lot to be said for, you know, a good car being made well and you want to keep it and keep it going. Let's look under the hood here. I always like to see how complicated owning the car is going to be. I like to do things like the routine maintenance myself. I like to see how difficult things are to get to. That's not too bad. Nice spacious top side, but I'm looking at components pretty well nestled on the sides there. So I don't know. I'm not sure how easy this car would be to 
to work on. When you look for the prop rod though, <laughs> it's attached to the hood itself. It's kind of backwards in my opinion. But there you go. So you have to pop it into there. And you're good to go. So let's look at this thing. In the daytime. It's a beautiful vehicle. I like this color blue, the black wheels. Kind of looks like a cop car. I think it's becoming more and more a trend to have the blacked out wheels, the alloys, not just wheel covers. Or even in some cases, just plain black wheels you see a lot of times on cop cars. These are the nice alloys. So, get the lift assist here. Okay, so this is something fun to notice about this car. It's, it's a it's a tailgating tailgating vehicle. So you got your um, JBL tailgate speaker here. You got your flat kind of entry there, so you can sit on that. And then you've got a power port back here, cargo light, and you have a cover for all your there's stuff. You can cover everything. Now well, let's look in the cabin itself. Get your bottle holders and nice spacious front cabin you actually have a good space all around in this vehicle the RAV4 very friendly to passengers you can see when I open the back door you got a lot of space there um, I can comfortably sit in this thing behind my seat position which is good This pops down, nice little armrest with extra cup holders. So here's the interior. I like the way the designers put a lot of thought into the ergonomics of this vehicle. Your, um, your surfaces are, they're nice, but they're not too plush. And this is an off-road vehicle, it's an all-wheel drive. Um, you can see there it's got trail mode and this is a serious kind of off-roading smaller But it's an off-road vehicle very capable So you don't want it to be too kind of posh although it's very nice you can see the The detail in the seats get the kind of the blue hand stitching going up But it's um, kind of a rubber dash and kind of Leather simulated leather top of the door there so they have nice features including this point area I do like that go into a drive through or something you just need a, a quarter for your your card at Audi that's where you're gonna find it right there you do have plenty of storage you got your cup holders the bottle holders which we saw earlier a decent size dash there and you got this other little cubby that could go that'd be good for tablets or other phones or a map whatever you got going on in there and then under your arm you got a big place where you can put your beef jerky whatever else you're chewing on in the XSC you've got the emergency call button automatic sunroof button And of course, the all too popular vanity mirror with a light that activates when you open it on both sides. So it's a good feature. Now, on the monitor, check that out. What you're able to do here, when you get it going, I'm just going to drive it in the parking lot a little bit here, it'll show you exactly what's happening. 
the moment this is an all electric mode i love this thing in all electric mode it feels like a really nice big luxurious golf cart and then you can see when the engine kicks off it's going to put power back to the battery kind of bouncing around here so this is kind of a fun little display it helps explain what a hybrid is how it works how it's going to save you all those dollars in fuel economy and how it's going to keep you cool in the vehicle while you're parked somewhere without uh, gassing everybody else with your uh, co2 exhaust so this is a this is a nice feature i like this it really helps explain what's going on with uh, with the um hybrid system okay we are going to put this rav4 into sport mode and we're going to give it the opportunity to, to impress All right, the RAV4 is in sport mode. Let's get sporty. <laughs> I've actually got a Challenger, a Dodge Challenger right behind me, pretending like I was in his way, and not really. It's kind of fun to do that. I get it up to 60, and people then think they have to prove their point and they end up doing like 70 or 80 to get around me so a bit of fun i didn't pull out in front of him either he was in the left lane he got into the right lane probably just to try to prove the point i don't understand drivers that do stuff like that they see you pull out then they decide to get in right behind you so they can then go around you. it's like they watch too many movies or something i don't I don't get it. Okay, so this is fun. I've got the RAV4 in sport mode. So you can see the bezel on the speedometer there is red. Let me show you what it's like in normal. So that's normal. It's just kind of white, whatever. And then the button here is kind of that blue color. Just kind of a cool frosty blue. Um, I don't know if you can read that. There we go. Push for normal. Sport is to the right. You've already seen that. Goes red when you do that. Now, can you guess what color it'll be in eco mode? Give you a guess. One guess. What color is it going to be? Of course, it's green. And then over here, you got the thin green line and the little green field at the bottom to indicate you are in eco mode. You are saving the planet one mile at a time. Actually, you'd be saving the planet if you just go home and park the vehicle. But never mind. Uh, you're green. You're green and you're loving it. There's normal mode. There's sport mode. That's pretty cool. I like it.